Hey guys, welcome back. We got ourselves another video today. We're going to actually move to the mid lane where we're actually going to be highlighting Bryle from Teen Undying. And we're going to show you five things that top level mid laners do that you guys most likely don't. So let's check it out. Banana slam jam. The first thing that top level mid laners do is that rather than making their own moves predictable, they play off the predictability of the opponent. So here we see a situation where he's got his own range creep on his hill. And a lot of people, myself included, would sit here waiting for it to get half HP and then deny it, which I would consider a very predictable move by Bryle. Instead, he's going to posture incredibly aggressively, knowing that Quinn on the puck wants to go for this range creep. So instead of him, him making his own predictable move, he's predicting that Quinn will walk up for this range creep. He then walks forward, walks back to make sure he can get the deny, so he's not missing the deny, and then he knows that Quinn is now going to orb this creep, because that's his way of getting the last hit. He then draws aggro, notice how right now he's clicking on Quinn, draws aggro off of his own range creep, pulling the melee creep towards him, and making it so that the, the range creep that would have died to the orb, because it would have been below 75 HP, is now at 87 HP, does not get last hit by the orb, and then quickly turns into a deny. So he took his own predictable move and instead played Quinn's own predictable move against him. The second thing is making sure you utilize all of your resources before returning to base. A lot of players are pretty good at acknowledging that they're supposed to return to base. In this specific case, Bryle is getting forced back by Quinn because he's so low HP because Quinn bullied him down with his orb, as you just saw there. And a lot of players would just default to going back to base. But as you see, Brow's got five seconds on his Firefly cooldown, and he's still got 240 mana to spend before refilling all of his resources. So he's going to take the time, getting a little bit of XP under tower while the creeps are dying, and he's going to clear a small camp stack and then return to base and make his way there. So emptying all the gas in the tank is the best way to be optimally efficient. A lot of players don't use all of their mana or health. Or both. This next one is going to be the reason why a lot of you struggle to find farm while being active as a mid laner. And it all comes down to playing around your own power spikes. Burning all of your resources when you're not strong in order to get farm, and then getting right back out on the map and being active when you are strong. So in this specific case, we see that Batrider has 36 seconds cooldown on his lasso. So in high level player terms, that's 36 seconds that he can be completely efficient, solely focusing on farm. And then when his last is off cooldown, he wants to be active on the map. So what you're going to see Brawl do is he's going to expend his Firefly at the first reasonable opportunity that he gets, clearing a creep wave, clearing a creep camp, picking up a bounty rune, and then he's going to immediately return a base, even expending fire or a flame break using all of his mana. So it's the same idea as the second one, but it comes down to how you prioritize farming as well as fighting. Notice he goes back to base gets all of his resources, all of his cooldowns are coming up, and he puts himself aggressively on the map. Now this part of it's going to be varying for you guys where you go, whether or not you're ganking your own safe lane, ganking your own mid lane, running at the enemy carry in the jungle like you're seeing here, but the idea is sound. When your abilities are on cooldown, you focus on max farming efficiency, and when they're off cooldown, you look to run at the opponent. A lot of you will sit at half health, half mana, and not have your resources at full when you're being active, and it makes it so you don't want to be active. So really looking to know when to go back to base, and knowing when you want to be strong in regards to the resources that you need. The next thing is being as fight ready as possible, as often as possible. So what you'll notice Bryle doing all game is that he's focusing on farming and clearing waves. Really important. The primary skill that he does that with is Firefly. But what you're going to see here is that his team on the map is going to be moving towards mid. Nyx is vendetta the two supports are in the enemy jungle, and they're going to be connecting to him. So this is a situation where if you're playing the game on autopilot, a lot of time you'll just firefly this creep wave, like every other creep wave that you've been fireflying. But this ability is super important for him to contributing to fights. So when you're looking to farm, when you're looking to push, push waves, gauging whether or not you're supposed to use spells or items that are necessary for the fight that may come. So if his team was doing their own thing somewhere else, he could gladly use Firefly on this upcoming creep wave. But since his team's connecting to him, he's not going to use Firefly, and he's just going to push the creep wave with his right clicks, as you see here. So if a fight were to break out there, he would have all the stuff he needs necessary in order to contribute. So our important balance is knowing when to play with our team or not. 
So coming in at number four is knowing when to split push. And a lot of this comes down to the same idea of your cooldowns. When your abilities are on cooldown, when you're near an item timing, you are looking to farm. And if you're a mid laner, the time that you're with your team is usually when you're the strongest hero in the game. It's really easy to ask yourself, when will I be the strongest version of myself? When you're not the strongest version of yourself, you're often going to be playing alone, especially on these mid split pushers like Batrider. So as you see here, he's going to be playing alone all the way towards the time that he's getting his BKB and his lasso is on cooldown. Not a single time is he going to join his team, deliberate whether or not he's supposed to show up to these fights, and he's trying to be as efficient as possible playing purely for farm. He's got intentions that are very obvious. Your goal is to try not to die in the meantime. And notice his cooldowns, right? 45 seconds on lasso. He's got a thousand gold till BKB. And he's playing, taking the super dangerous farm on the map. That's an extra bonus if possible. And he's just gonna do this until his BKB. You can fast forward all the way there. Notice how scared he's playing because the number one priority when you're playing like this is to make sure you don't die. Quincy Crew's missing on the map, so he's making sure he doesn't get caught. He takes all the dangerous farm, methodically playing away from his team. Doesn't show up to that fight either. Waiting in, even to just cut a creep wave because he still doesn't feel safe playing by himself. And if you're able to do what he's doing here without dying while you're weak because you don't have your item yet, that's the dream. This is super important as a mid laner. And now the second he gets his BKB, he TPs to the top half of the map and joins his team. Instantly smoking with him. That's not something that's necessarily going to happen in your pubs. And now he's showing up to every single fight that he could possibly be engaged in. And that's a huge on-off switch that I want you guys to be able to focus on. Is exactly what are the conditions for your fighting. And knowing that playing in farm mode or fighting mode is something that some of the best mid laners do. And is crucial to you guys getting the farm you need to carry the game. So this video may have seemed overwhelming for you guys. Maybe some of this is hard to keep up with. I highly recommend you guys work on these things one at a time to ease the process of learning. And I want you guys to feel a little bit better that these players do mess up. This isn't going to be a smooth process for you. Don't be afraid to push your limits. As Bryle just won that team fight, he's now got BKB on cooldown, Lasso's on cooldown, back into split push mode, TP bottom, push our advantage, get a bunch of farm, or we just die because we try to get a little bit too extra farm on the map and potentially feed away an advantage. I want you to know that the idea behind this play is the exact same idea he had earlier, and he's been farming dangerously all game. He's dodged a lot of ganks, and that dying like this is perfectly fine. It's a part of the process. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. BSJ out.